Today we're talking strollers and I'm going to show you how you can get the stroller that you want for a fraction of the cost. Hi, I'm Sam, the Budget Family Travel Mama. I am here sharing everything that I've learned in my 12 years of counting with you of how to travel with your family on a budget. If this is your first time here, please don't forget to like and subscribe down below and join our YouTube family. We would love to have you. So today we're talking strollers. Are you getting ready to go on your next trip and you have a stroller in mind that you want but you don't know that you want to spend that premium price tag? Today I'm going to show you how to get the exact stroller that you want for a fraction of the price. So last weekend I picked up this Chico lightweight stroller for 15 bucks. What? Yes, you heard me right, 15 bucks. How did I do it? Drum roll please. Two words, Facebook Marketplace. People ask me all the time how I find such good deals on baby items. I have an Up of Baby Vista stroller that came with absolutely all the accessories. I paid $200 for it. Actually, I paid $175 for it. I have a Summer 3D1 umbrella stroller that I picked up for 20 bucks. I have a Diono car seat that usually retails around $300 that I picked up for 80. I have countless stories of finding really good deals on Facebook Marketplace. And the best thing about finding these deals is most of the time these items have only been used through one child and are relatively new. And the best perk is that they usually come with all the accessories. Most of these items people are just looking to clear out the space of their house so they sell it with everything that they bought to go with it. So you get the stroller and the drink holder and the extra storage and everything that you could imagine all for one price. Now, generally when I tell people that I buy stuff off of Facebook Marketplace, they're like, oh, but I don't have time to sit and spend hours searching through all the ads. I don't have any more time than you do to sit and scroll through Facebook to find things. And you don't have to. That's why I'm gonna tell you how I find these deals without spending all of my days scrolling aimlessly through all the ads. Tip number one, the first thing that you need to do is research. It's really important to really understand the product that you're looking for. Now chances are if you're watching this video you've already done your research, you already know the stroller that you want, you've looked at it, you know the prices, you know what features you want, all of that stuff. People will just put up an ad for an umbrella stroller and it will not say anything about the product that it is. And if you've done your research, you'll be able to pinpoint that stroller as soon as you see it. And that comes in handy because sometimes you find the best deal with somebody who really doesn't understand what they have. Tip number two is to go in with a budget. If you know what you're willing to spend and you know what the price was on the item originally, then you're gonna know if you're getting a good deal or not. Good deal is a relative term. A good deal for me may not be what you consider a good deal. The third thing is condition. Yes, you may find that perfect item that you want and it may be like for an incredibly good price, but if the condition on it is terrible, then you aren't gonna wanna spend your money on it. So make sure to look through your pictures and check things, especially for strollers like the wheels and the cushions on the handles. Make sure those haven't been eaten up. There's no tape around them. You can tell a lot about how good the stroller is gonna be by the use of the person before it. Now, on the flip side of that, sometimes you find an item that's brand new or only been used once. Maybe somebody picked it up when they went to Disney World and sometimes you do find those deals where it's only been used on one trip, it's basically brand new and they're selling it for like half the price of what they bought it for. Sometimes those are worth a little tiny extra splurge, but it's something to look for. Now that you have these three things in mind, it's time to start your search. So there are a few different steps I take when I first start searching for items. I originally start with a kind of universal general search. So if I'm searching for an umbrella stroller like I was for this one, I type in umbrella stroller as a, just a general search, but the tip here is to minimize your pickup area. So the area that you're looking for. When I do this general search, I narrow it down to my immediate community. So I kind of get a feel for what's around right now. Sometimes you find a hidden gem, like I said before. Sometimes people really don't know what they have because they're just looking to get rid of it. I have found more than one time a deal like this that happened and because I did my research and I did a general search, I was able to pick up a really good item for a really good price. The second search that I do 
is I do a product specific search. So in this instance, I did Chico Lightweight Umbrella Stroller, but I, I broadened my area to the biggest range that I would be willing to go and pick it up from. So for me, that was a 25 mile radius. I understand that that radius is going to be different for everyone. The point is that you need to make it the biggest area that you're willing to go to pick it up. Now, once I'm in the search and find something that I like, I'll usually click on it, go through the pictures, check and make sure it's in good condition, and if I'm not quite sure, if I really wanna purchase it, then I will click the like button on it, and that way I can easily go back to it and find it later. Because let me tell you, trying to go and find it again is not always that easy. So make sure that you do that with any items that you really like. I will also save it into my favorites, and what happens with that is that if you don't end up finding something that you really want to purchase, if you have those in your like folder, then Facebook will keep updating you when new items like that are placed. If you don't find anything, don't worry. Don't be like, Sam, this is dumb. I'm never going to do this again. What were you thinking? <laughs> be patient. That is the fourth tip. You have to be patient. I know that we all want what we want right now but the likelihood is that if you're looking for a good deal and you're looking for a specific item, you're gonna have to be a little bit patient. Sometimes it does pop right up. This stroller actually popped right up on my feed really quickly, but that is more rare than common. Remember that people are posting items all day, every day. The thing that you want is out there, it just might not be out there quite yet. And really, that's all there is to it. It's not magic. You don't have to be a guru to find these great deals. You just follow these four tips and you too can find great products that fit within your budget. I hope this helped you guys. If you have any other questions, put them down in the comment section below and I will get back to you. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you again next time. Bye.